Okay, good evening ladies and gents, Guess here again, doing a bit of, a bit more of the old Deadly Premonition. Now it's been a few days since I've played any of this, so of course I've immediately forgotten what all the buttons are, but um, Sonic, we don't need buttons, do we? We had just escaped from horribleness, okay, and that's it, that's it, and we have to run down a road apparently. Oh, okay. Is that fatigue? I don't know. Oh no, it's the other way. I was looking at the the old heart rate monitor thing, but no, it's it's going the other way. Hey, you got some of this. Yay! Agent on a. So it looks. I wouldn't say sandboxy, but a little bit. I'm kind of surprised that the game is actually making us run all this way. But anyway. <laughs> but anyway. So it's six o two. AM presumably. I know it's our sort of heart rate meter has gone yellow. I presume that's going to go red in a minute. We're just testing here before we get beaten up. Um, was it going to? Oh, it's gone orange. Oh, sugar donut. Oh, I wish I could still eat sugar donuts. Damn it. Oh. It's Sybil from um, Silent Hill. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just. She does look a little bit more like a stripper than an actual police officer, but anyway. Yeah. You would be expecting her to. Yeah. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? My car broke down, that's all. Wow, now that's good quality texture for the water. Uh, not being funny, I'm really surprised this is a, a 360 game. This. Really, the quality of graphics are like PS2 at most. Things easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive. See, zone. told you, stripper. Way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. I think you're a psycho. Welcome to Greenville. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Come, George. No, I'll call you Woodman. FBI special agent Francis. He loves showing his ID, didn't he? Please just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. I like the horseshoe mustache. It's cool. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a personal interest in killers of young women. I'm always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profile. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. Why doesn't she have a gun in her house? In command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample, but I need you to understand that. By the way, he just stands in front of her. Of course. Of course. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right, don't worry. Terrible lip syncing. Thomas, to take care of it. Do you need anything else? Thanks. That'll be all. Well then. I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. Don't know how to say that. But, uh, we really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt <gasps> police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that, Agent Morgan. And we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshipper to appreciate the wildlife here. <laughs> Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just 
Met the king. This game has some very long cutscenes, doesn't it? Anyway, welcome to Greenvale. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Hang on, are we in that car or do we have to walk? Oh, 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 oh. What? Seriously? Oh, I could have so finished that last time. Never mind, okay. 36 minutes. Did we use a continue? Yeah, oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? We got battered, didn't we? I forgot about that, yeah. Yay! Yay! Hey! 50 gamer points just for doing the prologue. That's somewhat generous. And it saved, which is nice. Can hold 15 plus 1 bullets. Attack low. Yeah, we need a better weapon, don't we? What? Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Oh, hang on. Have I just accidentally... Oh, I'm such a... Sorry. I realise. George Woodman. I've just triggered like a previously on Deadly Premonition. And I didn't mean to because we've just literally just seen this. My coffee warned me about it. My coffee warned me about it. It is, it's so, t I know I say this over and over again, but it is so Twin Peaks, it's unbelievable, what the hell? Oh, okay, so this is like our sort of safe zone-ish. No. 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 I can't remember how you, I was trying to remember how you fire a weapon, but I don't know. So did it. You got Angel Isaac. Hang on, I thought that was it. Sugar donut, we'll put it in the toolbox. We don't need that right now. So do we do we leave? I don't really know what I'm doing. I assume this will just I don't know, is this for oh what the hell? Hang on. I thought that was gonna throw us into the next chapter, but no, of course not, why would it? I may need to refer to the um, oh god the manual because I've, I've forgotten immediately how to kill stuff. You're... Shoot him in the face. We don't need to worry about holding breath. Shoot him. What? Why? Is this going to be an actual mechanic? Oh, for God's sake. I mean, the fact that it's... I mean, I am currently holding left trigger. I don't know, the fact that it's flashing, I wonder if the game is trying to tell me to... I don't know. No, I think... That is truly disgusting. Somewhat unsettling. Wow, he can hold his breath for a long time. Good job he's not asthmatic. And he smokes as well. Good, he wouldn't be able to hold his breath, would he? That's, that's ridiculous. Thank you, random kid in pyjamas. What lip syncing was shocking then? Gordon Bennett, that's hard to look at. Ow. There we are, first aid kit. Oh, yeah, we've got a few of those. I believe we picked a few of those up in the previous part. 
Oh, here we go. I mean, look at that. I'm not being funny. Terrible. Look at the, the textures, generally. Friggin' terrible. I reckon like ninety percent of this game is cutscenes. I mean, really, it shouldn't take this long to get out of bed. Come on, Zach. The symbolism in my dreams can immediately lighting up. I like it. A forest of red trees, a carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear, I've seen him before. I just can't remember. It's where. you. No, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. Got a random vein above his eyebrow. For now, we need coffee. First, we need a good cup of Joe, just like Twin Peaks. Is the game actually going to make me get a cup of coffee? Let's head it is. Mysterious. It is. Oh well. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some. Why don't you coffee. say coffee more often? Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for. Get around the frigging corner. Hang on, that's our storage malarkey. I believe we've actually got a cup of coffee in here. What? What can we put away? Yeah, look, we're holding a cup of coffee here. Yeah. Anyway, we don't need to worry about that. I was just seeing if I was. Let's see what the mirror quality's like. Pretty terrible. Hang on, 42 yards. What's 42 yards? <gasps> There's a phone. Can we save? We can. We may as well, so we don't have to sit through that clip again. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming that the, the the world is not really that dangerous until I don't know night time or whatever it is. But I would I would like to think that wandering around the town in the daytime shouldn't be too much of a problem. There is a quick turnaround, and I said there wasn't. Never mind. Learn something new every day. There we go. He's more obsessed with coffee than Kelly is. Where the hell do we go? Oh. I have no idea where I'm going. What is this? That's another save point. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So this is the cafeteria, I presume. No, yes. Another film clip. Ugh. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast the is hell? ready for you. She's supposed to be like log lady. See her her skin in that looks better textured than his does, but thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Just Polly. Thank you, Paul. I'm starving. What? Okay. This is a very strange game. Is everything all right, Mr. Table long enough? Yes. Yes. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests. That freaking music. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh, my. We're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have, but I have Blaze Rider 46. Running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. 
Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Looks like you're pointing at his D there. It's like, Polly, get on this. Yeah, she, she thought the same thing. I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my. Well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Uh. What is it, Mr. Morgan? Oh, nothing. I just Damn it, I wanted to select the other option. I was assuming that the white one was the one that was the... Oh, uh. really? you flatter me again. Oh, well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. Giant spinning metal behind me. Damn it! Thank you, uh. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. Why is there such emphasis on coffee in this game? I don't understand. As brought to you by Kenko. What? What happens if you miss those prompts? Did you see that, Zach? No. Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In. What? The I, I just totally didn't see that. I can count on it. I'll have to Never watch that back in editing, but I did not notice F. K. Now then, let's get going. Yeah, this stream is in no way endorsed by or sponsored by any form of coffee brand. But oh no, there's a food and bloody thingy meter. Come on, pick it up. There we go. It's like um, it's like playing Fallout on hardcore mode again. Uh, speaking of which, I must do some more of that. It's got to the stage now where I actually hope I get murdered so I can stop playing it. It's a great game, but oh, I shouldn't have gone to shouldn't have gone to the big MT at this level. Everything is far too powerful, and I've got no ammo. Anyway, we're not playing Fallout, so let's stop talking about it. Run! We don't walk anywhere. Right, gone. Not a clue what we're doing. Seriously, that's our first day of investigation, was having coffee. I'm in the wrong job. $210 for having breakfast. And what can we do with our money? I'd like to know. Okay, I'm a little confused about this, but anyway. Cat no pickles. I don't know what I'm doing, I still haven't got a clue. This is, I don't know, there's not... I thought it would be a bit more directed, like, um... Oh, here we go, another cutscene. Like L.A. Noir, but it's not at all. A police car. Do we get to work with the hot policewoman again? Oh, that freaking music. That is going to get turned off soon. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. I'm assuming I'm not actually driving. I assume we're just going to... Cut scene and we'll be there, I'm guessing. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. 
This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Oh god, we are driving. Oh, figure it out. Alright, accelerate. Brake. Headlight. What? What? Talk. Boost! We've got a boost in this car, that's awesome. Wipers! That's ridiculous, we actually have to signal. <laughs> Excuse me, and we've got things like wipers. Honk. Talk? Talk to who? There's nobody in the car. Okay. This game is very strange. And we got a flare. For no apparent reason. Oh, Christ on him. Okay, I way. I'm oh, sorry. I'm trying to look at the way the map. This is a bit of a. Okay. Hang on. How do you? Where's the? Hang on. There must be a better map than that. There's like no. There we go. Please, sir, I can put a marker down. You could seriously can't put a marker down. Oh, for God's sake. Hang on, I'm so, what? Right, hang on. Is that. That's presumably us. Or is that where we need to go? Oh, I don't understand this. Is this as far out as it was in? Who's that? Holly oh, hang on, we're there. So we need to go. Okay, so basically, yeah, okay, so we basically need to do the next left. Okay, we can do that. The map thing is terrible. Oh, there's another driver on the road. Way. Oh, you can. So, so. Okay. About those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the movies have almost no bonus material. Even if they do. Oh. Shut up! What's he What's he talking about? See what we can crank this beast up to. I assume you can die if you. Yeah, probably. Right, hang on. Right. Filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. Do we go? Why? I don't think we go this way. I don't know. Let's try going up here. I don't know. This may not be the way, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Can't be too far wrong. It's all good practice for playing GTA 5 again. It's been a while since I've played any of that. But then nobody drives in first person, right? Okay, on the upside there is a phone over there, and I'm actually going to save it and leave this part here because je suis confu, I don't know, je suis très confu, right, how do you get out, get out of the car, there we go, and there's a film clip for getting out of the car, of course, of course, <sighs> right, there's something here that you want to check out, we're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Okay, we're going to save, yeah, and I say we're going to leave it there. So in the next part, we'll get to the sheriff's office and find out what the deuce we're supposed to be doing, because this is a weird game, and maybe even getting used to the uh, controls and all that. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Any comments, any suggestions, any tips? Dear God, if you've got any tips, please let me know, because I don't know what I'm doing. So, um... It costs you a dollar to save. Outrageous. Okay, so yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again in the next part very soon. Don't hit my car!